Hey, what's up, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do, I think it's a mom tag. I am with my mom. Hello. <laughs> okay, so the first question I said, we're quite close and I wanted to know why was it important for you to be my friend? <laughs> it was a goal. But it was something totally different from my relationship with my mom, which I didn't uh, enjoy. So I wanted to do something total opposite with my child. Okay. So I grew up like very tomboy. I mm -hmm. think I still am, honestly. <laughs> I I do like more girlier stuff than before, but I don't think I'm girly. Like I'm not, I'm not girly. Growing up, I was never, I never felt like there was something wrong with me. Like I was never, you never forced me to wear dresses or anything. Like forced me to do anything I didn't want to. I used to play soccer. You bought me soccer boots. You didn't like, you know. So the question, the next question is, how were you so accepting? Like, yeah. Because you know some people can be like extreme, like someone can be gay and the mm. parents don't, don't want them to, like what made you, like when I've been in the Abba with you? I mean, for me, it was more about the environment where you grew up, because most of in Dangazami were having boys, mm. so you were the only girl yeah. in our neighborhood, mm. so you were playing with boys, bicycles, soccer. Uh, jumping fences, all of those naughty things. So mm -hmm. I thought for now you are still a child and it's because of the environment and your, most of your friends are boys. So it means maybe sense. in time you will change but for now I don't have to force anything and I don't have to think anything negative. Okay. Next one, did I turn out the way you hoped for? So like when you have a child, do you have hopes? So I hope my child maybe becomes a doctor, or do you just just hope my child becomes someone good or what? Like, what it's vision did you have of for me? <laughs> Actually, you did. You became more than me. I don't know how to put it, but I'm not complaining. Uh, I think it's because Nami, I wanted to be more of an example than to tell you what you must behave like this. I wanted you to see and experience than telling you what you must behave like this. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. But you must see it in yeah. me doing it so yeah. that you can, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because I remember growing up and when people started drinking alcohol, I'd say, I don't want to drink and they ask me why and I'd say, mm -hmm. my mom doesn't drink. Mm -hmm. So, I guess when you see that it's possible from someone, then you we'll also, see, yeah, it's well. also possible for mm. me. The next question is it weird that I'm an adult now? Or do you consider me as an adult or do you still think I'm a child? I do consider you as an adult. Is it weird? But not wiser than me. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird? Not exactly. Is it like what? How does it feel when your child grows? It feels good. Like just normal. Yeah, it's normal. Okay. We talk about everything. You have a my younger brother is like ten years younger than me. So how do you how do you balance having two different? You know, we're in different ages. I'm working. He's in school. How do you keep? the balance oh, it's very hard so because what, do you think it's better to have children right after like mm -hmm. closer to age or this gap is fine i think this gap is fine it gives you a break mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for me it is fine makes sense mm -hmm. so you were saying it's different but if the only choice so what i have to choose if i want another girl i will choose another girl <laughs> it's difficult to raise a boy. Yo, it's more it's difficult not to raise a boy. Mm, it's not the same. But I know people that say it's difficult to raise a girl. I, I don't know. 
maybe it depends on what your first born how did they turn out yeah yeah okay what has been the hardest thing about being a mom like the hardest where you were like this is hard mm. single mom being a single really, mom. being a single mom raising your child alone it's yeah. very difficult is it difficult throughout or were the but moments? it also makes you strong eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah you become a mom you become a father at the same time you, you i was even helping you to teach you soccer but i didn't know how to play soccer but because i must be there to help you i remember when you were lucky because I know how to ride a bicycle. Yeah, oh so yeah, you I taught also me how, to, ride you a how bike. to ride a bicycle. Because I was also tomboyish. That mm. is why I was not hard on you. That's crazy. Because I was also exactly like that. Because even my grandmother apparently was also tomboy. Yes, yes. I don't know if <laughs> <laughs> it's genetics running down, but my grandmother was a tomboy, my mom was a tomboy, I'm a tomboy. And honestly, I pray I have a tomboy child because you're just not rushing into stuff. Boys mm. are not asking you mm. out because mm. they think you're using mm. And you become strong. You know how to fight yes. for your rights. You know how to fight for yourself. Yeah. And by the time you actually want to date, you know. Because your friends went through it. They told you stories. Like, mm. Mm. It's good. I. Anyways, I don't even know if I can raise a girly child. Like, what do they want? What do they... <laughs> uh, okay. And then the one, the other one is what has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom? So the greatest thing where you were like, wow, being a mom is good. Uh, you finishing school or like the graduation? Uh, not exactly, but metric was more. And I knew after metric that you wanted more and I'll make you, I'll make sure that you are doing better than me. Mm -hmm. I'll push you actually to be to do more than me. What about and my brother? You went to university. Mm -hmm. Your brother. Yeah. What has been the most rewarding thing about raising him? Shame. That's I don't shame. know. <laughs> it was much easier than you because the father was there. Mm. Yeah. But the challenges are also there because you are from two different environments, you and the dad. You want to raise your, your boy like this. He wants to raise his boy like this. So mm. you always fight also between yourself how to raise a child. Yeah. What's more difficult, fighting with someone to raise a child or raising a child by your own? And if, obviously I followed your rules, but now he has two, two opinions. What, what, yeah. was, what is more difficult? Uh, is to have two opinions I think so it was easier easier to, to control to, yeah discipline and yeah stuff. instill whatever you want to instill in your child alone there's no one who's gonna add something or subtract something mm. but then I think financially it was difficult to be alone mm. and now to instill the rules it's more difficult and the discipline is more difficult but financially is easier so, so I don't know so which like, one is easy. Um, <laughs> so there's good things about it, there's bad things. There's bad things good also bad. about it, yeah. Okay. You're afraid of becoming your mother. Are you afraid I'm becoming you? Not exactly. I'm not. Because I think I've tried to do my best. So... And I know to you when you are very strong, you knew which things to copy from me, which ones you, you are not supposed to, because I'm always telling you that there are good things that my mother did, there are yeah. bad things. The only thing that you have to do is to choose which, which one ones. do you want to take, which one do you want to change, which one do you don't want at all. Sometimes it's a good thing, ne? but you see your personalities are different. It's mm -hmm. a good thing, but it won't work for me. So you have to have a good choice on, on things. What would you want me to do differently? Anything that you think, maybe you should change this or that. I don't know if there's anything. Um, you can do more 
much more than this. What, like what? What more can I do? In whatever you are doing now, you can do more than this. You can even be better than Bonam. You can even be better than Bonam. You can even be better than Bonam. But you don't have that enough confidence. So I don't know because is it because you don't have um, more information? You are still growing, or it will come with time, or I knew I had the same problem, or is it an inheritance from me? I don't know. So you, what I can do differently is be more confident. Yes. In everything that I do yeah and more confidence comes from more information get more information about what you are doing or what you want to do then it will boost your confidence I think mm, interesting what do you miss about me okay so we obviously don't live together anymore um, we didn't even live together for a while I mm -hmm. guess for because I was in boarding school and then so for four years I lived with or five, including the yes, that was one year. Mm -hmm. So I lived, we lived together full time for five years in my whole life because I was in school and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, what do you miss about me? Uh, talking to you. Just the conversation. Just the conversations. I still remember we'll talk even the following day, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, because hey, you you've got stories. Now oh, we we've got stories, yes, and we we've talk got stories <laughs> about almost everything. True. I remember yes. when you went out, you even tell me, okay. And then I took a bath. You start from <laughs> it, it, you took a bath. I took a taxi. Yeah. Then the driver was wearing this. What happened in the taxi? <laughs> And then you, the yeah. whole story. When, when I tell stories, you need to like see it. You need to see and feel what I was going through. And then uh, I miss you helping me with my laundry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the laundry at home is not my laundry. It's my dad's laundry. It's my brother's laundry. It's mm. everything. So I used to wash the laundry and then my mom would iron mm -hmm. sometimes she washes and irons me na ironing even now i don't have an iron because most of my clothes yeah, as 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 i you know like yeah. it's just you just wear it what don't you miss about me like one thing you're like yo oh, thank god she's not here <laughs> <laughs> laziness <laughs> oh i you can be lazy shame <laughs> oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Being dramatic. Mm -mm. I'm not that okay. I am lazy, but I also you like to be in a neat place, but then you want to do it once. Yes. And me on the other side, I want, you want to, to do, do it every, every day. day. For and, what? and then for me, I would be like, but nah. Lisa, it's been five days. You are not cleaning your room, and but it looks like, neat. But it's clean. <laughs> That's the one thing I like about living by myself. I clean almost every Sunday or like whenever because now I have a white carpet, so yo yeah. I <laughs> the white carpet guys, no ways. So, anyways, I have to brush that and as soon as I do that, I can literally do me until that carpet is dirty again. Whereas my mom would want you to sweep that thing every single day, like no ways. I didn't understand it. Mm, that's so I also thing. love my own space. Have you ever thought and actually digested that I'll never live with you again? Like, has it? Yeah, I, I think I did because you are growing. And then when you said you want to go to South Korea, I was used to that situation of you staying at a prestige college. Yeah, boarding school. Boarding school. And then when you say you want to go to South Korea, I knew by then that you are almost 24, 25. Oh. I don't think you'll come back or home, home again. Oh. Even if you come, but maybe you'll be married soon. Or if you're not married, you want to, hey. you want to stay in your own place. Hint, so, hint. They want the ring. I'm prepared. <laughs> 
Okay, so you mentally prepared yourself. I'm mentally prepared. And the last question, most important question of the reason why this vlog is here. Mm. What are you leaving me in your will? Ah. <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction mm -hmm. but yeah that was funny but anyways that's it for today uh do you have anything more to say no mm -hmm. i want to say i'm proud of you mm -hmm. <laughs> you Lots. are such a, a a young matured adult young adult mm. and I don't have to, anything to complain about you. I don't remember being stressed about you being a teenager. Thank you. And I hope you. now when you will raise your kids, or oh, yeah, your kids exactly like I was trying to do now also. Because now I was not sure to you become like this. I was <laughs> just doing my best. The advice that I will give you, Mina, on my personal view is become more of an example to your child than instructing your child how he or she must behave. Just become a, a good example. Yeah. And then the rest will just follow The rest will just follow you. You've done your best because I think action speaks louder than words. We are talking about such things. And, and that's it. All right, guys, as you heard, I'm a good child <laughs> but yeah thank you so much if you stay this long then wow we're a great person uh, remember the only thing that I was complaining about to you it's hot here <laughs> the only thing that I'm complaining about you Upalisa, when she was growing up the only thing that was frustrating me oh you've got friends <laughs> different friends Oh my gosh, yes. You, 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 you. Yeah. And you love to entertain them the whole week at home. They will be have different visitors. Okay. You have schedule of visitors. <laughs> this one is coming tomorrow from this time to this time. This one is coming tomorrow from this time to this time. Oh my Sometimes gosh. all 10 of them, they will come at the same time. Yeah. Same weekend, the house will be just... <laughs> Yay. Seriously, I, I have a lot of friends and... It's weird because growing up I didn't have friends. Like mm, and me, my personality, shy, right? I'm totally different from yes. you. So maybe that is why I could not understand how, how can you have so many friends? Have so many friends. But yeah, I guess that that's a good thing and a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing in terms of I do lose a lot of friends too. So my friends are not because you can't you can pay attention. Yes, to all of I, I cannot. At, yeah, I can. That's why I see people change. Like when I was young, apparently I was super shy. Yo, <laughs> super shy. Yo. When I was young, did you think I was gonna have that many friends? Mm -hmm. I never thought even that you would leave the country because oh, I'm you shy. Were just, yeah, and you wanted to be next to me all the time. When you go to the parties, you don't want to play with other kids. You want to be next to me. Yo, when it <laughs> comes to food, you were so choosy. So I still am. Um, no, 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 I'm not. When you go to the parties, you don't eat cake. You don't eat sweets. You don't want to. Uh, they used to complain. This was supposed to be a mom tag. I don't even know why now it's about me. <laughs> it was supposed to be about you. But yeah we actually have to go to our next activity in a few minutes um i will post small videos on our days here um but yeah thank you so much for watching thank you for coming onto my channel and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you next time peace, peace. <laughs>